hopefully it's easy. I don't know what my neighbors are doing, but they're drilling. What's going on? everyone Monroe still here from fashion still NYC and welcome back to my channel do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion beauty lifestyle and travel videos today I have a really fun video for you all I decided to update my bathroom if you've been here for a while you already know that I updated my closet space with the IKEA pack system there's two videos down below about that if you're interested and then I most recently updated my living room decor here and you can check that video out as well finally I updated my bedroom super simple modern very warm very inexpensive and you could check that video out as well there are links to all three down below in the description box Definitely being at home in self-isolation these past three months, I knew that I needed to update my space because I'll be spending so much more time at home. I'm very happy with the outcomes of both like my living room space and my bedroom space. And thank you all for all of your compliments on my decor you all said that i need to start like a decor channel we'll see we'll see anywho my bathroom just seems to be a space that doesn't really coincide with the rest of my apartment my living room space is super warm modern but with like touches of browns and blacks and blushes and it's very light very airy and I feel like my bedroom kind of mimics that as well. I brought a lot of whites into the room, a lot of grays, a lot of like blush tones, very earthy tones with my dresser and with my plants. I have a lot of greenery. My bathroom just seems to just be like, I bought a few things from different places like Wayfair. I think I got some things in from Target, from Etsy, and also from H&M Home, just to really spruce up the bathroom Space. I mean, I kind of realized that I spend about two hours in the bathroom, if not more, like every day, whether that's bathing, doing my skincare routine, and more and more I'm finding that I just leave the bathroom to like do things like a twist out or do my hair. And I want my bathroom to be a welcoming space, even though it is quite small. Because I'm an influencer, I do get a ton of products and I just needed way more space. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys everything I bought. I have a little home decor haul for you all, mainly for the bathroom, but I've got a few other knickknacks as well. And then I'm going to take you, walk you through my simple bathroom decor update. And so I hope you guys are ready for it. But first, of course, I'm gonna show you my outfit because I know you wanna know and I'm a good friend. So let's get into it. All right, love, so here is my look for today. I am wearing this, the Frankie Shaw Muscle T-shirt. I actually have it in white, but I also recently got it in black from net porter I think they still have it, so if it's available, I will link it down below. Otherwise, you can head to the Frankie Shop website and check them out. This is a size small, just so you guys no. I paired it with these H&M high-waisted cropped mom jeans that you all would have seen in a recent haul that I did. Love that little piping on the back. Really makes your butt look great. These jeans are super comfortable. I'm not sure if they still have them, but if, if they do, I'll link them down below. I got the size six and it fit perfectly. For accessories, I'm rocking my favorite Brinker and Eliza coin necklace. You can find this at Shopbop. 
And then the earrings are from Adornia. I love Adornia. These are like chain link earrings. They're pretty cool. I do have a coupon code for them. It is STEEL20, all capital letters for 20% off. So definitely check out Adornia. They're also the ones who have that Hope necklace that I wear all the time and the one that says Monroe and the different letters that I wear all the time as well. For the shoes, I just went with my Louis Vuitton bomb dia mule sandals i will also put the makeup details down below as well with everything that I bought. Sorry, it might be a little loud because I have to have the window open because it is so hot in my apartment. But I'm gonna start with a few things that I bought in home decor and then we're gonna go ahead and update to my bathroom. And of course, I'm gonna show you a before and after in video and in photo form. I know someone is gonna ask me about my brand new coffee mug. This is from Urban Outfitters. It actually comes in four different colors. I have this one and I have the brown one as well. Kind of hard to drink out of, but it's actually just super cute. The female form is really trending right now and I had to have these mugs. So if you're interested, there is a link down below to them in the description box. Please remember that if you use any of my affiliate links down below, if you click them and make a purchase, I do receive a small commission from the brand and that's one of the ways that I make money as a full-time content creator and influencer and blogger. So if you want to help your girl out, please do me a solid and use my links down below if you plan on purchasing anything from any of my videos, including this one. So cheers and thank you in advance. Let me show you guys what I bought from H&M. We'll start with H&M home because they have literally just been killing it when it comes to home decor. I actually ended up buying a few things from H&M for my bedroom decor update. So remember, if you have any questions about my plants, my furniture, anything you see in my living room or in my bedroom, please do check out the corresponding videos which are linked down below. I've listed everything including my plants in the description box down below the videos. So from H&M Home, I got, ah! I have kind of like a mauvey pink theme running throughout my apartment. My kitchen chairs are like a pink blush velvet that I got from Wayfair. That's featured in my apartment decor video. And then I also have a beautiful blush pink mauvey velvet chair in my bedroom as well that came with a beautiful ottoman it is my reading chair it's my beauty chair it's where i sit to put on my lotions and my serums and to do my nails and to read my magazines and i also got that from wayfair and so i wanted to bring that color combo into my bathroom as well and so i bought a new bath mat currently my bath mats are black and I'm kind of trying to add more warm tones to my whole entire apartment. It's a beautiful pink kind of mauvey bath mat. It is the 20 by 28 inch. And why I love it is because the bottom of it is already rubber. And so it's not gonna be like sliding all over the place, which is great. I also got matching towels. They had matching towels which is great because in my bathroom I have a little bar where I like to keep a hand towel so you could dry your hands. I bought two, which is the exact same color. So it'll be a nice little mat. It's also 20 by 28 inch. And what I love about these little bath towels is that thick bottom they have there so that you know which way is the front. And it's the way that has this thick pattern down at the bottom. As you can see the other end, doesn't have that. These are really nice, super like plush and luxe and chic. And I think the color is going to go really well in the updated bathroom. 
Now, in addition to that bath mat and those towels, I also got this little, I guess it's a statue from H&M as well. I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna put it in the bathroom or somewhere else in the house, but I actually love how it looks here on my bookshelf. And I do get a lot of questions about this bookshelf. I got it from Amazon. It is also linked in my apartment decor update video. So check that video out, look at the bottom of it. There's a link to this bookshelf. But how cool is this? I'll link this down below if they still have it available or similar ones. So next up, I bought some more pampas. Pompas, pompas, pompas grass. I'm pretty much addicted to pompas. I have some in, here in my living room next to the TV. I also have a few pieces in my bedroom as well, like right next to my chair. I just love how it kind of brings the outdoors in. It makes a space very like peaceful and homely. And I love that. I get all of my pompas from the same place. It's a store on Etsy and I will leave a link down to it below in the description box. They have several different lengths. I usually get the tallest length, which I think is 53. I'm not sure, but I will put the exact measurements and then also how many stems I get down below. I usually get about 10 stems to really be full. Anywhere between 10 and 15. 15 is probably better to make it look very full. Anything less than 10 and it's gonna look really not very like big and fluffy. Not really sure yet how I'm going to incorporate it into the bathroom or even if I'm going to put it in the bathroom, but we will see. I split these up because I put some in my bedroom and I only left a few out, but we'll, we'll see. I might pull some from the living room to put in the bath. I also got a new shower curtain. My shower curtain, I mean, it's cool, it's white, it has like black asymmetrical lines all over it. Very kind of modern, but I want a more homely feel because it just doesn't go with the rest of my apartment. I can't even remember where I got this from, but I will link it down below in the description box. So I got this shower curtain, and what I like about it is that it reminds me of Morocco. I love that white. Well, it's really more like an off-white. I don't know if you guys can tell there, but it's like a very pretty thick linen. And then down at the bottom, it has this beautiful fringe. And I just love that it has a little something extra. I feel like it adds more texture to a space or to a room. I will link this down below. It took me a while to really find a shower curtain that was plain and that I thought would like mesh well with the rest of the colors that I plan on having in the bathroom. So you can kind of see the color palette there with the pompous and the shower curtain and the bath mat. So I also bought some new curtains. Like the curtain that I have in the bathroom now is a gray and it just makes the whole room feel very drab. I want it to feel very bright and airy in there even though I can't really open the window. My big window in the bathroom leads out to the fire escape so I don't open it often. And then there's a tinier window in the shower and I do tend to open that sometimes but it doesn't have a screen on it and then like bugs fly in so Usually I don't open up any of those windows, but I still want light. And so I went with a white curtain. I have either white linen or kind of sheer curtains throughout my apartment in every single room now, except for the bathroom. And that's like the place where I need the most light. So I went with these white curtains. Can't remember where I got them from, but I will link them down below for you guys. Lichtenberg number 918. I don't know if this is gonna be a good match. I might have to try something else. I do have a few like curtain options. This is very kind of stark white. I didn't know it was gonna be so white. I thought it was like an off white. So we'll see if this will go. I, I feel like it might clash with the off white of the shower curtain. If this doesn't work, I have a few other options that I'll just keep in storage and we'll see. Now, I always have wanted one of these like bamboo style bath mats and I went ahead and pulled the trigger on one. I took it out of the box already because I wanted to try it out, but this is my new bath mat and it is amazing. I love this brown. 
like I love that wood I feel like it merges well with like my Moroccan theme and my pink I mean it just goes and I feel like this will tie in the bathroom to the rest of the house because I have brown like wood floors throughout my living room and my bedroom pretty much in every single room of my apartment except the kitchen and the bathroom you know my bathroom has these white square tiles trying to really kind of cover as much of that up as possible and so i feel like this is a great piece that's going to go in my bathroom i love it i feel like it's going to make me feel like i'm in a spa when i'm stepping into and out of the shower the great thing about this is it's raised up off the ground by about a quarter of an inch i think and then it also has these little rubber stands around the bottom so that it doesn't slide but it's really great i've already used it which is why it's out of the box but uh love this they have a few different options i'm pretty sure i got this from wayfair and so i will link it down below but I think it'll be a good marriage with having this close to the shower and then this kind of like in front of the sink or the toilet. Last but not least, you see this box here? There's something in here that I need to build. It's something I swore that I would never get because I am kind of OCD when it comes to germs and things. So in here is an over the toilet storage unit. It is white. It's pretty minimal, which I like. I took the measurements to make sure that it would fit over my toilet and hopefully it does. I do have to put it together, but I just need more storage. And even though I really hate something being over the toilet, it's just like the only alternative I have right now because my space in my bathroom is so small. I'm already using all of the under sink space. I'm using my window seal space. I'm using the space in my shower and I just have no place else to put all of these products. So. Storage is a huge issue for me and I just have to do it. Thankfully, I live alone. And so anytime I flush the toilet, I can always make sure I close the top first so that germs and things don't spray everywhere, which just, uh, ooh, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Anyway, we're gonna build this to actually store things so that they aren't showing because when things are showing, it just looks messy, even though it's really helpful for me because I can see where all my stuff is. I can reach for it, but it does not look attractive. So I have a ton of different boxes to kind of put things in. I have a box from BoxBox. <laughs> I actually received a birthday gift in this box. If you've never heard of BoxBox, definitely check them out like a friend sent this to me for my birthday she basically put a whole box together with things that they sell on their website and then they shipped it to me and i opened it up and it had so many good products in it like amazing and then i have this box which is pretty cool i cannot even remember what came in this box but i like the colors i feel like the colors will go well in the room with this pink and with the wood and it kind of matches all of the rest of the colors I have in the house with like the brown and the floors, the extra pinks, the grays, like I have my couch, the whites, my rugs. So this is a really good box. I'm gonna store something in. Of course, I have a ton of these Chanel boxes from ordering my Chanel cotton wipes. <laughs> I love those cotton wipes. And so every time I order the cotton wipes, they come in this really big, amazing Chanel box. And so I have a ton of these boxes, so definitely gonna put these to use and use them as storage. And then I also have a ton of these Laura Mercier boxes as well. I'm one of their ambassadors, so they send me different products every month. So I have just a ton of these boxes, and I think these boxes will come in handy to put a lot of the extra like products that I get into them so that they're kind of hidden away until I'm ready to use them. And so these are the things I'm gonna like outfit or dress up over the toilet storage with. And we're gonna see how it goes. Maybe I'll pull plants and different things from around my apartment to kind of spruce it up. But first I have to go in there and clean because it is a travesty in there and then I can't clean it or I can't like update it until it's clean, so. I'm not gonna show you guys that part because I feel like it's just gonna be so boring. But I will take you along and kind of show you how I place everything inside and 
build everything and I'll show you a before and after so let's get to simple decor updating of my bathroom space all right guys so I have been working all day on the bathroom and it is finally finished I built my shelf I dressed it I organized everything so let me show you my updated bathroom all right guys i'm loving how the rug is looking and how my wooden bath mat is looking as well this new shower curtain is super chic and modern it gives me moroccan vibes and i'm with it i really love how it looks with the wooden bath mat i just threw this little faux flower here inside of this chanel bag because I forgot that when I moved that shelf that there's this blue tile here and I don't like it. I don't feel like it goes with the aesthetic so I just put that there. That's just a little placeholder. Maybe I'll get a, a larger vase soon to put it in. These little toothbrush holes are actually really small whoever made this so I use this old candle cup to put my toothbrush and toothpaste in this little soap dispenser is from target and then i just left out a lot of the products that i use every day for skincare which is the vitamin c tonic the pixie my elemis gentle foaming face wash and the super goop everyday sunscreen i use that every day i also use my hyper clear every day but i'm out right now i'm waiting on some more to come and then I just put a nice little candle here for when I have my baths I have my Barreto cotton poplin candle here that I can light and it smells amazing I actually really love how this white curtain turned out because even though it's white it lets in a lot of light it's longer than my last curtain it goes all the way down almost to the floor and what I love about it is that it's not transparent so you can't see my junk back here which is like my little makeup case it still looks nice and clean but also lets in nice bright light so if you're interested in the curtain i will link it down below of course i have my superhuman teeny tiny white trash can i love this thing i just think it's super clean and modern i also have the simple human plunger and it's magnetic so it just sticks into that little case i got this from target and i also got this from target as well i will link both down below so this is the over the toilet like shelving unit that i got from wayfair i absolutely love it it fit perfectly especially with this little thing here like it sits right on top of that i'm really glad that i measured that space so that i knew that it would fit i will put a link down to it below it is a true white and i love how it has this round part here and then it has these little bars that you can see through i think it's just super cool and clean and modern i also like the rounded shelving there it was super easy to build it took me about half an hour to build it myself it came in like three parts and then i just outfitted it with my chanel box that these la cotton chanel cotton wipes came in and I have my Laura Mercier box here. I have a few products that I put into this box. I have a candle from And Other Stories. I have a faux orchid that I got from Target. This is 10 bucks. And then I have this box in here. We have a ton of my hair care products and things I use to do my twist outs and things. Don't worry, I have a twist out tutorial coming soon. Of course in here we have my Chanel cotton wipes that I use for all of my skincare. This is my little Bluetooth radio that plays music. I can hook my phone up to this. This is actually super loud. It is by Brookstone. I actually got this as a gift. If you're interested, I will put a link down below. It is a great speaker, super loud. You can play your music, you can play your podcast, and you can hear it nice and clear while you're in the shower. I am a sucker for Cottonelle butt wipes. <laughs> And so I have one of these Cottonelle little wipe dispensers there. And then I have that box that I got for my birthday. So in here, I put a ton of my skincare products and my oils that was originally on that little shelf that was here. And that was had everything exposed. It just looked messy. 
so even though I'm gonna hate having to go in and out of this box for things these are things that I don't use that often so it's fine and here are my pompous I actually really love the pompous grass and how it looks in here it just gives the room some warmth got them from Etsy I will link exactly where I got these from down below in the description box so you can check it out and this vase is from Target it's just a white vase really clean really chic I've had these two paintings or photographs forever and it's about time to switch them out but for now I'll keep them here and then as you can see we have the H&M home hand towels here and they look amazing they flow really well with this box and this little bath mat here as well as this old candle from Over Rose ties in that nice pink into the room. And that is it. I've had this little rack for a while. I think I'm gonna get rid of it and get something a little more modern and more sleek. All right guys, thank you so much for checking out my simple bathroom decor update. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and click that little notification bell to never miss a video. Alright guys, all details can be found down below in the description box and I will see you next video. Bye!